So what are the requirements? What are the red zone countries? So what are the lists of those countries and travel requirements, vaccination certificates, PCR tests, and quarantine are going to be discussed on this video after our beautiful intro. So hi everyone, my name is Trisha and welcome back to my channel and yes, that's me. Okay guys, so now let's going to discuss about traveling to Malta from red zone countries. So if you are watching my videos and you are in a red countries and you want to go in Malta, please watch this vlog because I provide a really informative information that you need to know before you travel to Malta so you need um this information because it's really important especially if you are a traveler or a resident or a returning resident in malta residents of malta and in possession of valid maltese id or residence permit whose permanent residency is malta may apply to undergo quarantine at an alternative address if they fulfill the criteria at least 10 days prior to your arrival in Malta. I provide the link below about the registration for quarantine and also the forms that you need to use when it comes to quarantine. So check out the description below because I provide also the link. Just click it and check it out. So yes, guys, for travelers arriving from red countries and dark red countries, must have a recognized vaccination certificate plus a quarantine that is like really mandatory 14 days quarantine to all travelers arriving in Malta. Okay guys, so these are the list of um, red zone countries, Albania, Andorra, Armenia, Australia, Austria, Bahrain, Belarus, Belgium, Bermuda, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Bulgaria, Canada, Cape Verde, China including Taiwan, Macau and Hong Kong, Croatia, Cuba, Cyprus, Czechia or Czech Republic, Denmark, Egypt, Estonia, Faroe Islands, Fiji, Finland, France, Gabon, Georgia, Germany, Gibraltar, Greece, Hungary, Iceland, India, Ireland, Iraq, Israel, Italy, Japan, Jordan, Kosovo, Kuwait, Latvia, Lebanon, Libya, Liechtenstein, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Malaysia, Maldives, Moldova, Monaco, Mongolia, Morocco, Myanmar, Namibia, Netherlands, New Zealand, North Macedonia, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Qatar, Romania, Russia, Rwanda, St. Kitts and Nevis, San Marino, Saudi Arabia, Serbia, Singapore, Slovakia, Slovenia, South Africa, South Korea, Spain, Sweden, Switzerland, Timor, Tunisia, Turkey, Ukraine, United Arab Emirates, the Dubai and Abu Dhabi, United Kingdom, USA, Vatican City, and Vietnam. Okay guys, so those are the list of red zone countries. Now, what you need to get or what you need to do if you are from those red zone country and you are arriving or traveling to Malta. So first guys, you need the public health declaration and passenger locator form. So as I have said, the passenger health declaration and passenger locator form are already in the link in my description. So just um, click the link so you can get immediately access on these uh, links. Second one is valid vaccination certificate recognized by Superintendent of Public Health 
for a full course or one dose with EMA approved. Okay, so what are those vaccination that are approved or with EMA approved in Malta? So it is um, Cominarty by Pfizer, Janssen by Johnson & Johnson, Spike Vast by Moderna, Vaxueria, AstraZeneca. So guys, if you are traveling to Malta and you met all the criteria, so you need also to quarantine in Malta for 14 days and that is mandatory. And you have to spend your own money for 100 euro per day for 14 days mandatory quarantine. Okay guys, now let's go to discuss about the recognized vaccination certificate in Malta. So I will going to give you the list the, of the certificates that has been honored in Malta. So first one is the EU Digital Vaccination Certificate issued by European Union, EEA, and non-EU countries connected to EU DCC Gateway. So this one includes from Iceland, from Liechtenstein, from North Macedonia, Norway, San Marino, Switzerland, Ukraine, and Vatican City. So also guys, another one is UK and HS. It's either paper or digital vaccination certificate. United Arab Emirates Al Hussein vaccine certificate. UAE certificate issued by Dubai Health Authorities with QR code. Turkey's vaccination certificate or a full course vaccine. So you should finish the full dose of vaccine if you are from Turkey. United States CDC, Serbian Digital Certificate, Gibraltar, Jersey and Guersi Certificate, COVID Certificate issued by Ministry of Health in Qatar, the Albanian COVID Digital Certificate, Australian COVID Certificate, Digital, so it's like a digital certificate through Medicare Express plus um, verified by the app and the Arab Republic of Egypt, Lebanese COVID certificate record card, Canadian COVID-19 vaccination report card full course and verified by Verifly app, Ministry of Health Singapore vaccination certificate and State of Kuwait Ministry of Health SARS-CoV-2 vaccination certificate so yes guys those are the recognized vaccine certificate that has been accepted in malta if you want to travel in malta no more no less okay now what are the vaccination or covid19 certificates or thing that is not accepted in malta okay guys so first in the list are this one first is COVID recovery certificate. So it is not accepted in Malta. So if you have a COVID recovery certificate or a letter or, or anything, it's not accepted, guys. Second one, COVID vaccine showing only one dose of vaccine but requiring two doses of vaccine whether after recovery or not. So if you are required to do a two dose or complete dose of vaccine and you only finish one, either or whether you have a recovery or not, then it's not accepted. Number three, COVID vaccination certificate with less than 14 days from final dose. Number four, COVID vaccination certificate that is not in the list. So if you possess a COVID vaccine certificate that's not on the list that I mentioned, then it's not um, been honored in Malta. So last one is negative rapid antigen test, whether EU or digital. So if you have an RTPC, um, R, no, um, negative rapid antigen test, it is not accepted in Malta. Okay, guys. So all vaccination are checked and verified at the borders for authenticity. So when you arrive in Malta, they are going to check whether your certificates are authentic or it's real. And for example, also for travelers 12 years and over, they don't need um, to take the vaccination 
travelers 12 years and over that is not in possession of recognized vaccine will need to present a negative RT-PCR test not older than 72 hours and should undergo a 14 days mandatory quarantine. Rapid tests, antigen tests are not accepted. It is also required to complete a digital passenger location form. Okay guys, so don't forget the digital passenger locator form that's on the link. And passenger under 5 years of age accompanying by vaccinated parents do not need to present a negative PCR test. So they must complete the digital passenger locator form only. For pregnant, so pregnant persons should not get and should be exempted from vaccination form if she come from red, a red zone country. So she must also present only a RT, negative RT-PCR test within 72 hours and take note, rapid test is not accepted. Okay guys, so if you are traveling in Malta and you want to be exempted by vaccination or about those um, criteria that mentioned, just email covid19.health at gov.mt and put in the subject of your email exemption request plus the name of the person that's going to be exempted or the one that is requesting. So yes guys, reach out the Ministry of Health in that email address. So passengers from red zone must not transit in dark red zone country. So yes guys, so you must have a valid vaccination certificate plus um, RT-PCR test and the 14 days mandatory quarantine that you have to be ready about 100 euro per day to spend for your quarantine. So yes guys, that is the requirements traveling in Malta for red zone country. And on my next video, I will going also to share about the dark red zone countries. What are the travel requirements if you are from dark red zone countries? So yes, guys, I hope this video helps you if you are traveling or you're planning to travel in Malta. You want to go for Malta for work. Please watch this video, share to all your friends so that they will know the information before they travel to Malta. So yes guys, that's all for today's video and don't forget to like, subscribe and share my videos to all your friends. So yes, again, thank you so much for supporting me and that's all for today. Next video, Dark Red Zone Countries. So thank you so much for watching guys. See you again next time. Bye!